Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to shelf 11 of my DVD horror collection overview series. Alrighty, so let's get reading to this because we know how long these take. Uh, first up on this shelf is uh, Tenembre, <clears throat> Dario Argento's, uh, well, classic giallo in my opinion. Fucking love this movie. Probably my second favorite uh, Argento film of all time. I'm upset about that one. Uh, the Tenant by Roman Polanski. Uh, this is a really good film. Um, kind of underrated. You don't really hear a lot of people talk about this one. Um, yeah, if you've never seen it, definitely give it a go. It's it's a good one. Uh, next up is Terror at Blood Fart Lake. Wow, what can I say about this one? Uh, this movie is fucking ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Fun, though. Uh, has some of the most over-the-top acting in it ever. The ending absolutely put me to tears, though. I laughed so hard. Um, very cool, very cool. Uh, next up is a short called uh, Terror of the Blood Demon. Uh, this was put out by Dead Films Good Like. Dead Good Films Like. I, I fuck that up every time. Um, yeah, very cool uh, short. Um, I kind of wish it was a little longer, but uh, no, it was very well done. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in Terror Train. Um, this is the you know the old uh, DVD release of it. It's been released by Screen Factory on Blu-ray, which I do have. Um, you know, it's a good film. I I kind of like the concept of it. <laughs> I don't really like the gimmick with uh, David Copperfield in it, though. I I'm kind of not really my favorite thing in the world. But the ending again puts me to tears in this one. Just <laughs> the way the end is shot just makes me laugh so fucking hard. Uh, Terror Telly, another film by uh, Dead Good Films. Like uh, this is an anthology film by Nick Box and other directors. Very cool stuff. Very highly enjoyed that one. Uh, that is not going to go in there properly, is it? Um, because of this, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Meat Edition, it's got this flap on the back, as you can see there. Um, yeah, it's just hard to get shit in and out. Very cool edition. Love the fresh after 30 years. Fucking awesome. Love TCM. Uh, next up is the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steelbook, released by Dark Sky Films. Uh, just another awesome edition. Got crazy special features on there. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, this is just the, this is the non-gruesome edition. Uh, for some reason I never picked up that one, I don't know why. Um, I do like this cover though for some reason with Dennis Hopper on it. Just old school and kind of, it's not really the best cover but I like it though. Uh, Texas, or TCM 3, Leatherface. Um, you know, not a bad film. Uh, I like it though, I think it's pretty good. It's got a young Viggo Morganson in it. Uh, and then The Next Generation happened. Renee Zellweger <clears throat> and Matthew McConaughey. Um, this movie is so fucking bizarre. Just everything about this movie is just really bad in my opinion. But I don't know. Some people like that film. I don't know. I don't know why. But uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. I enjoy this film. I know some people don't. Um, I don't know why I enjoy this film. I think it's because I went in to see this film in the theater with no hopes at all. I, I was expecting to hate it, and I just kind of took it for what it was and enjoyed it. I don't know, maybe it was just the experience I had, but I don't know. I always seem to like it. But I enjoy the Texas Chainsaw Massacre prequel better, called The Beginning. I think this is a better film. I love the ending. It's awesome. It's rough. It's rugged. Great film. Uh, Thanks Killing. I reviewed this a long, long time ago. That review is no longer on YouTube, but... Um, yeah, just a goofy ass film about a killer turkey. Um, I recently have gotten the Thanks Killing Three. Uh, for you people out there that don't know, there is no Thanks Killing Two. They skipped to the third one. It's the first film ever to skip its own sequel. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, them, uh, French invasion film. Uh, I fucking love this movie. I think this movie is fantastic. Kind of underrated. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of invasion films. I find them to kind of be more or less all the same. Uh, I don't know. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. This one seems to really stick out to me. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, you know, terrorizing film. I love that one. It's great. Uh, they Live, John Carpenter's They Live. Uh, another film that's been released by Screen Factory on Blu-ray, which I do have. Um, but I'll keep my DVD because I like this film. Great movie. Uh... Things shot on video shit. Uh, this is a Canadian shot on video horror film. Uh, it's like a creature feature, actually. It's really fucking hilarious. The dialogue in this movie 
is it's just so funny. It's just so funny. This is not for everybody. If you're not a fan of shot on video, I would stay far away from this. But if you are and you've never seen it, check it out. It's so bad, it's good. Uh, Stephen King's Thinner. Not one of my favorite... Um, you know, Stephen King adaptations. I know this one has been released on Blu-ray by All of Films, which I probably will eventually get since I'm collecting all their horror films. But, um, yeah, it's not one of my favorite ones, but it's it's decent, though. Uh, next up is The Thing from Another World, the original Thing film. Howard Hawks, good film. It's fun. And then John Carpenter's remake of The Thing. Uh, what can I say about this movie? It's one of my favorite films of all time. It's just everything about this movie is perfect. The acting, the atmosphere, the score, the fucking effects, the, everything. There's nothing. This is almost a perfect film. Uh, the prequel, I've still yet to watch. I've had this in the collection forever. I've gone through <laughs> I've said so many times that I'm going to watch this movie, and I, I never fucking do. Um, still have not watched it. Uh, Thirst. I believe this is Korean. Um, yeah, this is Korean. Yeah, Chen Park Woo did this film, uh, director of Old Boy. Um, this is a great, great film. I've, if you've never seen Thirst, definitely check it out. It's a very cool film. Uh, Vincent Price and the Tingler. One of my favorite Vincent Price movies. I love the effects in this movie. They just crack me up. Hilarious stuff. But Vincent Price, my favorite. One of my tied for my favorite actor of all time. Tokyo Zombie. <laughs> I actually did a review on my own channel for this. It was a request by Movie Collector 666, also known as Zach. Uh, this is such a fucking goofy Zomcom. It's just, it's kind of batshit crazy and over the top, but just hilarious. It's a good time, though. Uh, Fangoria Fright Fest presents The Tomb. Uh, I was not a fan of that movie at all. It was kind of shit. Uh, the Tommy Knockers, Stephen King adaptation. Um, very cool. I enjoy the Tommy Knockers. It's pretty good. Toby Hooper's remake of the Toolbox Murders. I am not a fan of this one either. This movie I thought was very shitty, actually. Uh, Tooth and Nail, After Dark Horror Fest. I believe this is three, the third one. Uh, this was okay. You know, not the greatest movie in the world, but it was entertaining. Uh, tortured. Um, did not pay $10 for that. Uh, I thought this movie was pretty decent. It has a pretty cool twist at the end. Um, it's not bad. It's like a revenge film. Uh, the Torturer. I uh, reviewed this on my Lamberto Bava week. Uh, so if you want to hear more about that, check out that review. Uh, Touch of Death by Lucio Falci. I know this one seems to get a lot of fucking hate. I actually really enjoy this film. I, I really like the 80s feel to it. I don't know, it just kind of works for me. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. Tourist Trap. Um, yeah, what can I say about Tourist Trap? This movie's fucking awesome. So good. So, such a great film. Uh, Tower of Evil. This is another film that's been recently released on Blu-ray by Scorpion, which I did pick up. This is a great film. I do recommend that Blu-ray looks awesome. Um, very cool film. Uh, Townies, this is unopened. I've never seen this movie. I've had it in the collection for a long time. Never watched it. Uh, Toxic Zombies, very fun, you know, zombie film uh, about these guys. That I think the, the government tries to spray these marijuana plants in the bush or whatever, but their chemicals turn these people into zombies and shit. It's pretty fucking funny, but yeah, it's cheesy, low budget, fun though. Trailer Park of Terror, speaking of low-budget fucking zombie shitty films, uh, this is fun. It's fun. I had a blast with that one. Uh, train, this is, um, yeah, it takes place on a train. It's kind of like, um, I guess in a way, kind of like hostile, not like hostile, but I don't know what to compare it to, but um, I don't know. It was okay. It was okay. Uh, Argento's Trauma. Uh, this one gets a lot of mixed reviews, too. I don't think it's the greatest Argento film in the world. I don't think it's the worst, either. It's kind of kind of middle of the pack for me. It's decent, though. Uh, Tremors Attack Pack. Uh, I like the Tremors films. I actually don't remember the last one, the fourth one, very well. But, uh, yeah, Tremors films. Uh, Trick or Treat. I wish this movie would get, like, a really good release. This is a fucking movie that Scream Factory should release on Blu-ray. Uh, terrible, terrible cover. So get some new cover art for that one. Gene Simmons, Ozzy Osbourne, and Trick or Treat. They're in the movie probably a total of four minutes, and they get the cover. It's awesome. Got to sell that shit, right? Uh, classic Trick or Treat. Also have this on Blu-ray, of course. This movie's classic. Looking forward to the sequel. 
I hope it does not disappoint. It's obviously not going to be as good as the original, but you know what? I'm just going to keep my uh, my thoughts open on that one. Uh, Trilogy of Terror with Karen Black. Rest in peace to Karen Black. This is a great anthology film. I fucking love Trilogy of Terror. I wish the uh, the sequel to this movie would get an official release um, because I've never actually seen it. I want to. Uh, the Tripper. This is David Arquette's uh, direct reel debut. Um, this one actually has Paul Rubens in it. Fucking awesome in this movie too. Uh, Paul Rubin, also known as P.B. Herman. The Tripper. I really like this movie. I, th I I don't really hear a lot of people talk about the slasher film. It's you know it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's fucking fun though. I had a good time with that. Uh, Troll and Troll Two. Uh, I love both these movies. I think Troll's a great film. Troll Two is fun in its own little weird shittiness way, but it's great. Troll Hunter. I'll never forget the first time I watched this movie. I had no idea what this was. Um, this movie from Finland and. Uh, you know, about giant fucking trolls, kind of shot, uh, like, documentary style, kind of found footage style, um, great, great, great fucking movie, this shit blew me away, I didn't, like I said, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, watched it, so I had no, you know, ideas what it was, and it, it blew me away, it was great, loved it, uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, hilarious film, <laughs> My favorite scene in the movie is the fucking wood chipper scene. That just fucking cracks me up so much. Um, yeah, great uh, horror comedy. Twilight Zone, the movie, uh, which I believe is being remade, and it's not going to be an anthology type film, which is very disappointing. Uh, that already is losing points with me. Uh, Twilight Zone, the movie, great fun. Classic. Uh, David Lynch's Twin Peaks. Now, I consider this kind of horror because it's so fucking... But all David Lynch movies are so bizarre to me that I kind of put them in the horror collection because they are weird. <laughs> this movie is so fucking weird. And I'm a really, really big fan of the TV series too, which I wish there was more seasons of that, but yeah, very cool. Uh, 2000 Maniacs, Herschel Gordon-Lewis. Awesome film. Uh, the Ugly... Um, this was uh, this was decent. I actually don't really remember too much about this for some reason, but I kind of remember it being decent, but I don't know. I can't quite remember. Uh, Undead. I've actually done a review for this movie, too. Um, this is great fun. Very different type of zombie film, kind of sci-fi zombie-ish. It's really, really fucking different and weird. I highly recommend Undead. Definitely check that out. Uh, the Undertaker, another film I've done a review for. Which I'll have to put these reviews back up on my channel sometime. Um, this movie is one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. It's absolutely hilarious to watch because this was an unfinished film in Joe Spinell's last film that he ever did before he passed away. And, you know, it's it, the funniest thing about this movie is watching Spinell's performance. He's obviously completely shit-faced in every scene. Um... But it's the it's the add-ins. They have all these clips from older horror films in there. They have all these like out of place clips of like dancers. It's just fuck. It's such a mess. Such a mess. Probably one of the. I am glad I do own this by Code Red because I think it goes for stupid money now. It's out of print, but um, I don't know, man. If you want to check it out, check it out. Uh, the Undertaker and his, and his pals. This is a fucking funny movie um, about these dudes that are basically feeding their friends restaurant with bodies so they can you know feed them to sell them to people. It's it's funny. Uh, unearthed. Um, this was decent. Uh, yeah, it, it was okay. I've reviewed all these After Dark Horror Fest films, so you can look through my channel and find them if you want. Uh, the un unhinged um, slasher film. You know. Not the greatest thing in the world, but I don't mind it. It's, you know what, it's it's pretty fucking average, to be honest. The Unholy. Um, this is a great fucking movie, man. This was part of that, you know, infamous eight-movie pack released by, was it Lionsgate? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have the uh, Region 2 release of it. Great fucking movie. Definitely check that out. Unrest. Takes place in a hospital. Um, yeah, you know what? Actually, kind of cool. The premise is there. I think it's executed a little shoddy at times, but, uh, you know, it's decent for what it is. Until Death, I reviewed this on my Lamberto Bava week also. Um, yeah, it was actually pretty decent. I gotta say, it was a pretty good movie. Uh, Urban Legend, uh, part of the, I guess, what do they call these slasher films? Neo, Neo slasher film? I don't know. Neo horror films? I don't know. Um... 
I remember watching this in the theater and really enjoying it. Years later, it doesn't really hold up to be that great, but, you know, it's decent, I guess. Uh, Urban Legends 2 Final Cut. Actually quite shitty. I really did not enjoy that movie at all. Um, Urban Legends Bloody Mary, the third one, which I actually really did enjoy. I think this actually might even be my favorite one out of all three, to be honest. Yes, I did say that. Vacancy. Um, you know, not a great movie, but still entertaining. I'm not a big fan of Luke Wilson, um, but yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Uh, Vamp. Um, I have the Arrow Blu-ray of this, too, which I do recommend. It's very, very nice looking. Uh, Vamp, very cool vampire film with Grace Jones as the vampire, as the queen vamp or whatever. Um, very cool film. Loved it a lot. Uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Fucking underrated in my opinion. I, I know a lot of people seem to hate this film or dislike this film, but I really enjoy this movie. Um, I think it's because I, I'm a big fan of James Woods, and once again, I know a lot of people don't really like him either, but I think it's good. Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein Girl. I have yet to watch this one, so I need to pop that one in sometime. Uh, Venom. Uh, this was not the greatest. <laughs> uh, Versus. Fucking awesome, awesome film. Highly recommend Versus. This is the shit. I mean, I don't know what to say about this one. Just watch it. Just watch it. It's great. David Cronenberg's Videodrome. Um, yeah. I just ordered the Criterion of this, so looking forward to checking that out on Blu-ray. I love Video Drum. Such a weird fucking movie. Uh, Village of the Damned and Children of the Damned. Uh, the original Village of the Damned is an, an amazing film. Children of the Damned, not as good as the original, but it's still a fun film. I do recommend this double feature. I think that's the only way you can get them. I'm not even sure about that. Uh, Village of the Damned remake by John Carpenter. I am not a big fan of this movie. Um, I didn't like the cast in it. I thought the direction by Carpenter was a little weak. And uh, I don't know. It just doesn't feel that good to me. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, the Vineyard with James Hong. Uh, this is a this is a pretty decent film. I don't find it to be overly that great. But, you know, it's got a pretty cool premise anyways. But, yeah, give it a shot if you want. Virus X, still yet to watch that one. Uh, the Visitor, released by Code Red. Um, this is such a fucking weird film. Um, it's got quite the cast in it, though. It's got, you know, Lance Hendrickson's in it. You got Shelley Winters in this. Mel Fair. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay, though. Vlog. Uh, not a bad film. Not a bad film at all. Um, I would say definitely give this, a, this one a watch. Uh, it's okay. Voices from Beyond, Lucio Fulci. <laughs> uh, this is not a great Lucio Fulci film by any means. Code Red just released a Blu-ray of it, which I do have in the post right now. Um, I had to pick it up because it's Code Red, so... But it's definitely not a great film by Fulci. Uh, Wakewood, uh, a newer Hammer film, which I thought was decent. I didn't... I'm not really a big fan of the whole premise of... You know, when your kid dies, you know, and bringing them back and stuff. Because, you know, just bad shit's going to happen. It's, it's you know, it's like fucking Pet Cemetery, but not as good. I don't know. Walled In, um, another film I've yet to watch. Uh, the Ward, uh, John Carpenter's The Ward. Now, this one right here, I'm just going to move this around here. Uh, the Ward, um, this one gets a lot of mixed reviews, too. I'm definitely on the fence of this one. I don't hate this movie. I don't really love this movie. I think it's kind of average, maybe even a little below average. It, Carpenter's done such better work, but I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Uh, War of the Dead. Uh, zombie, Nazi zombie films. I fucking love Nazi zombie films. This one's pretty decent. Not the best in the world, but it was okay. War of the Living, War of the Living Dead. Low budget zombie shit. Um, it actually has some pretty funny moments in it, to be honest. Uh, Watch Me When I Kill Giallo film from, I believe, the late 70s. This movie might have been released in 1981 in America, though. I think that's how it went. It's originally released in the late 70s, but uh, it's okay. It's decent. Waxwork. Classic. Fucking love me some waxwork. Everyone's seen waxwork. It's great. Uh, and then Waxburg 1 and 2, this is for the second one. I don't think the second film's overly that great. It's still entertaining, but it's not as good as the first one by any means. Weekend Murders, put out by Code Red. This movie's pure shit. Did not like that movie at all. 
Welcome to the Jungle, um, cannibal film. It's actually pretty decent. I didn't mind it. Welcome to Spring Break. This is a really fun slasher film uh, from the, I believe, mid-80s, I want to say. No, no, 19, 1988, so later on. Uh, about this dude that kills people on this bike. and sh It's fucking pretty fun. Very cool film. Uh, Wendigo. This was actually pretty decent. I didn't mind this film. Patricia Clarkson's in this film. Uh, I believe that she passed away, actually. Think of it. Um, yeah, not a bad film. Next up is Werewolf Fever. This is a Canadian werewolf film. Low budget, but awesome. Highly, highly recommend this film if you've never seen it. I fucking love Werewolf Fever. It's great. The Willies. Kind of a kid's anthology film. I highly recommend this. I think it's fantastic. Kind of grew up with that one, so. Uh, Witchboard. Looking forward to the Screen Factory. Blu-ray release of this is going to be fucking awesome, so. Um, yeah, classic. One of the first movies that really scared the living shit out of me. I don't know what it was about that one. And The Possession, this is Witchboard 3. Not a great film. I reviewed this, I think, sometime last October in my Demon Possession week or something. A little quick overview of it. It's not bad, though. It's kind of fun. It feels like a mid-90s film, totally. When a Stranger Calls, everybody knows this one. Uh, it's not the greatest movie in the world, but it's fun, though. Where the Dead Go to Die, I've heard so many mixed opinions on this movie. I personally really enjoy this. I, I enjoy it for its weirdness, and it's disturbing. It's very kind of disturbing. It's an animated film that is just, it's got some fucked up shit in it, man. I don't know. If you like that type of shit, definitely give it a shot. Who Can Kill a Child, released by Dark Sky Films. This is a great fucking movie. Wicked Lake, another movie that gets a lot of mixed reviews on it. I've heard some really, really funny reviews on this one. Uh, I personally kind of enjoyed this. Um, released by Shriek Show, I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, Wicked Little Things, After Dark Horror Fest. This movie's fucking awesome. I highly recommend that one. One of the better ones. Uh, Wicker Man, um, yeah. Wicker Man, what can I say? Weird, weird film. Uh, I also have the Anchor Bay wooden box set too, so it's got the other cuts in there. Uh, Wild at Heart, again, I put all my Lynch movies in here. It's not a horror film, but it's just fucking bizarre and weird. And Nicolas Cage is more like a musical kind of deal. Uh, the Wig, yeah, I still need to watch that one. Willard, remake with Chris McGlover, great remake. Does a great job. I wish, I always say I wish Chris McGlover would do more horror films because he's awesome. Windchill, uh, this was, okay. I didn't hate it. It wasn't that great, though. Uh, Wishmaster 1 and 2. I uh, really like the first two Wishmaster films. They're really fun. Um, but then we get to Wishmaster 3, which is pretty shitty. Pretty piss poor. And then we have Wishmaster 4. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll just show this one right now. Uh, Witchcraft in this old DVD case, or this old uh, jewel case. Like, this is an actual, fully legit release. I think this is the weirdest thing ever. The only DVD that I own that comes in an actual jewel case. Fucking bizarre. Witchcraft, not a bad film. They made, like, 97 of them, but, uh, you know... <laughs> no, I think they made, like, 14 or 15 of them. They get really kind of sleazy, but... Uh, Code Red's The Witchmaker, very cool type of uh, possession, you know, kind of witch fucking deal. I don't know, it was pretty good. Wizard of Gore remake... Again, starring Crispin Glover. Um, this one had to grow on me. I actually really did not like this movie at first. And uh, I watched it again. And I actually kind of enjoyed it more. Woodchipper Massacre. I know my boy Steve from Body Bags. He just reviewed this movie on there. Not really a horror movie. It's more of like a comedy type family deal. Um, but uh, shot on video. Fun. If you like that shit, check it out. Wolf Creek. Uh, Australian horror. Awesome. I really enjoy that film. I think it's good. Wolfen, uh, still yet to come up on my 81 series. Love Wolfen, though. It's a great, great werewolf film. I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on that one, too. Uh, the original Wolfman, enough said. I love that film. The Woman, um, I was not as impressed with this movie as other people were. I know a lot of people were just fucking loving the hell out of this one, so I was really stoked to watch it. Kind of disappointed me. I don't know. It was okay. Wonton Baby. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this movie is beyond ridiculous. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that one. It's just ridiculous. The Woods, not a bad film. Nick Box's uh, Wrath of the Violent Vicar, very fun, very well done film by Nick Box. Uh, Wreckage, I actually reviewed this recently on Body Bags. It's a pretty average to below average type slasher film. I don't know. The twist kind of fucking stupid in that movie. WrestleManiac, stupid slasher film that's actually pretty fun to watch. Featuring Rey Mysterio, not Junior. Uh, Wrong Turn, the original, good film. Wrong Turn 2, probably a little bit better. Uh, I have Wrong Turn 3 on Blu-ray for some odd fucking reason. I actually got it for free, that's why. Uh, Wrong Turn 4, I did not pay $10 for it. Uh, I actually enjoyed Wrong Turn 4, I like the setting. Uh, I do have Wrong Turn 5 also, it's just in the pile of movies that are not on my shelves. Extra 1 and 2, great films. Um, I've never seen Extra 3, I believe there's a third one, never seen it though. And last up for shelf number 11 is Yeti, and uh, I have yet to see this one. Sorry about that, folks. Can't say anything about that. So yeah, so shelf number 11, and we are going to be moving on to shelf 12, which is the end of the DVDs and the start of the TV, the TV horror, um, and then so on from there. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching and subscribing. Um, yeah. These videos seem to be around 26 minutes every single time. Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you later.